Hi, I'm John Williams and today I'm with Selena Barker, head coach of Screw Her Let's Play. Very soon, Selena's going to be taking 150 people through a process of running a 30-day play project. A way of taking an idea, doing something you love and making it happen really fast. And today, I'm going to find out from Selena what her own play project is, which she's starting very soon. It's a really cool one. So what is it you want to show me, Selena? <laughs> what is this thing that you're so excited about? My new home for six months. My new home and no. office. You can't live in that. <laughs> Gonna. It's 20 years old. Yeah. I've named her Beryl. Actually, come this way. What I should show you, and I will do mm -hmm. in a second, is that she actually has a bedroom. This roof pops up, so we sleep oh, up there. Oh, wow. Now she's going to be done up all inside, so she's yeah. just had a good clean. I'm going to be covering her in lots of um, artificial <laughs> flowers and fairy lights. And this is yeah. actually not bad. This I is know. better than I thought it was going to be. It's great. This is quite nice. It's brilliant. Where's the bed? I'll show you. <laughs> okay, watch mm -hmm. this. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to zoom back. Oh, look at that. Oh, wow. At mm. night, sleep up here. Okay. And then during the day, you just take them away. Yeah. And uh, you've got all this space. So you're doing something else as well at the same time? Yes. Um, in order to put my life into the camper van, I'm doing what's called a hundred things challenge. So I'm reducing mm -hmm. my entire life of possessions into 100 things. <laughs> um, and I'm in the process of doing that. And that is amazing. Only keeping the things that I love, getting rid of all the excess stuff that my life is full of. So Selena, tell us what, what's the idea? How did you get this idea to, to go off in the camper van for six months? I got it. And this is no word of a lie mm. by doing um, the screw at Let's Play year out exercise. Oh, did you? Yeah. I did it literally almost, I think, almost a year ago and um, what I wanted to do was to go on adventures, have new experiences, meet new people. Yeah. I had always, at the back of my mind, always dreamed of having a camper van and um, I thought I'm going to do this. Like, what am I waiting for? Literally, what am I waiting for? You've got to take your dreams seriously. You know, rather than brushing off these big dreams and saying, oh, I wish I could do this, I'd love to do that. I was just like, I've got to do it. So, you go out for six months and what are you going to do? Um, I'm going to be travelling around, mainly around the UK, because uh -huh. I really want to get to know the UK more. And um, what I've said to my friends, because I love having company and I didn't want mm -hmm. to do this on my own, is I said, choose your, choose your adventure and let's yeah. make it happen. So wherever people want to go in the UK, they'll join me at that stage. So I've got one guy who's cycling across coast to coast from the west coast to the east coast. Yeah. I'm getting a support van. Um, I've got friends who want to go and go foraging, I've got friends who want to go canoeing, friends who want to go up to a big festival in Scotland, ah, cool. popping over to Spain for a couple of weeks as well. Oh really? In the van? Yeah. Oh, brilliant. Taking it over in the ferry. <laughs> I hope she survives it. Um, it's going to be so much fun. You like giving up your home, you, you yeah. stopping renting? Yeah. So you've got nowhere to live then? No. Uh -huh. I mean, do you not get scared of these things? They don't worry you at all? or Yeah, I do. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't, I, I always say this, the fear doesn't go away. When I decided to do this, mm. this, um, this kind of camper van adventure, and I actually declared that I was going to do it, I then had a couple of days of utterly freaking out, and what you call yeah. the top dog, was going, what are you doing? This is ridiculous. You're 31. You're going... You know, it's like I had my mum in my, my head. And how did you get a grip? Um, because I know this happens, it's a natural part right. to feel scared. So I just thought, <clears throat> just ride it out. Just let all the fears come up, bubble up, and literally just just come up and let them go. Don't act on them. Don't destroy the plans because you're scared. And it just eventually, it's almost like the fear gets bored and just bugs off. We're about to take 150 people through doing a 30-day play project. Yes. And you're going to be in charge of this. You're going to be cheering them on and helping them when they freak out and just helping them do stuff and get things done. Yeah. There's lots of people who'd like to do some sort of play project. And there's 150 people about to start on a challenge. Yeah. What's your advice to them? How, if they're worried about it, probably. You know, they're a bit nervous at least, if not completely freaking out. Yeah. What's your advice? Um, if for a 30-day project, keep it simple. Make sure the essence of it you're doing something that you're really going to enjoy and that's that it's it's the experience that you're you're looking for is right at the heart of your 30-day project it's to give you a bit of a taste but also create something it's just taking what you want to do on a bigger scale into 30 days and just bring it to life in a small way so for half the challenge you'll actually be reporting from Beryl yes <laughs> exactly yeah because I take off on the 15th of April so halfway through the 30-day challenge, I'll be setting off on my big challenge. So um, yeah, the excitement will be will be flooding through um, the 30-day challenge community as I take off.
And any final message to people who are thinking, oh, well, that's all right for you. I don't know if I can do mine. I just do it. I used to have what I would describe as a perfectly nice life, um, standard, it was nice. And now I've started taking my dreams seriously. I, I am in love with my life and I never used to be like that. So you've just got to do it. You've just got to go for it. This is your one opportunity. You know, what are you waiting for?